Hi guys, we're in uh, Windy, Alberta. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was thinking about uh, van dwellers uh, doing interviews. And usually they interview other van dwellers. They don't interview, uh, I haven't seen any yet, interviewing uh, actual sticks and bricks homeowner. So uh, that's what I did. I went out and uh, to one of my subscribers who lives in a sticks and bricks house and uh, did an interview. So uh, come on along, stay tuned and see what the answers are to some of the questions. See you in a bit. This is the home of uh, Judy, a girl I know in Medicine Hat. She has this beautiful garden here. All the plants, it's June, things are coming up nicely. Uh, huge house. And we're gonna do an interview on uh, well, she would see what she thinks of living in a van or living in a house. What's better? Now, when you see the, you're going to be on YouTube, you know. So. Do <laughs> oh. Which is disappointing, but uh, it is what it is. But well, I have a composter that didn't get hot enough. That is growing all sorts of beautiful. <laughs> you get good plants in there, eh? Plants. This is called Wooly Time. Yeah, that's pretty And so neat. when you step on it, it releases the thyme fragrance. And it's really pretty and it's very, very soft. Here are my big trees, and when they defoliate, you're, you're supposed to leave it, and that's really, really hard for me because I'm a very tidy gardener. So I like to pick a weed and I like to oh. take it with me to the garbage or to, to the compost. <laughs> Tiny, oh, here, and this is a um, a Siberian almond. Oh, wow! And so it produces the prettiest. So all those little buds bright, are bright pink flowers, and yeah, so. This is where the almond is growing inside of this little thing. Oh man. And then so it's a nice furry shell and then that shell breaks or falls off, but then it breaks open and then your almond appears and it looks just like an almond, but they're, they're smaller. Oh. And they're, right here is the one that's growing a little bit bigger already. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah. I've got three honey crisp apples because I think they're the best apples. Oh, and they're already. Well. And these have got lots and lots of apples on them. Wow. More roses. Yes, the beautiful the yellow ones are. Okay, so let me just see here. What are some things that um, you don't like about motorhome living in it? Let's say you had to live in a motorhome, like full time, not just two weeks in the summer. If I had to live in a motorhome. Yeah, what would be some things you don't like about it? That'd be like I know what I wouldn't like about it, but because you you're living in a home as yeah. opposed to a motorhome. What would I not like about living in a motorhome? Um, I probably wouldn't be able to have all my kitchen supplies. That's true. And that, that would have to be really very minimalist. hurt my soul. <laughs> because I love to cook and bake, and that's a big part of who I am. And if I don't have that, I think that would be really tough. That'd be tough. Yeah. Well, and why why do you like living in a in a home in, in a in a house, not necessarily size matters, but just like a tiny house. Well, may not be too tiny. You can still have all your all your cooking stuff, but yeah, I would be limited if I had to go in a tiny house. Tiny houses are cute, and actually, watching your journey has 
really, <laughs> it's made me rethink what's important to me. And is all this stuff important? And it's not. No. The less you have, yeah. the better you feel about it. And that's what I think. And I have always told my girl, if you haven't worn something or used something in the last six months, it's time to, you know, gift it to somebody else. Yeah. And and I generally do that too if I haven't. And, and, and I know your thing. If you go into a room or you go into a drawer and you're like, I haven't touched this since I moved into this house. <laughs> Do I really need it? And then you think, but one day I might. One, yes, and that's. Leave it there because one day you I have might. The space. Yeah. But if you don't have the space, yeah, I think it's time for a lot of people just to let go and let and go of their baggage and close space. Yeah. I think that would be tough. Uh, <laughs> I think it's always better to share moments and memories with somebody yeah human nature is all yeah uh, but but you know could you do oh, of course anybody could do it by themselves you know no um, but would i want to yeah no. so do you find it hard like i mean i guess yeah the size of the house would matter but keeping clean like that must take a few days every <laughs> every week as my mom says i have the vacuum tied to my ass <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, uh... Um, yeah, um, kitchen, dining room, living room. Okay. Did you change this or is this the same? No, this is the same. Oh, okay. Everything, yeah. Wow. So, li kitchen, dining room, yeah. living room, and what? And this is a, a different living, a another kind, or? Yeah, I guess guys and um, family room. Oh, family room. Okay. Yeah. And this is floor one. <laughs> <laughs> or, or not, not even. It's the, the main floor, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is a room that I created for Kira, so there's some space, so there's oh. lots of paint, art, and there's some dance, and there's some Oh, well, that's done in here, right? Oh. Oh, this is my vacuum from the little pool. <laughs> well, at least it's not tied to your ass, like you said. That's true. Uh, Almost, yeah. but... Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh. And... Come on, bedroom. Come oh. bedroom. 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 Oh, look at all the trophies, or the ribbons. Uh, medals, yeah. Medals, medals, yeah. So wow. Soccer and volleyball and basketball and science fair and music. And Holy. Look at them all. And this is their wall of fame. It's, uh, <laughs> All their, um, yeah, all their smarts. Okay. <laughs> more stuff. No, we have my back. Oh, more. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. So what are these, like, trophies of some sort? Yeah, or? academic mostly. Oh. Um, yeah, they're, um, like this one here, Carrie Ann was, um, um, second place, she wasn't valedictorian, she was salutatorian. So out of oh. 400 kids in her graduating class, she graduated second in her class. No way, that's pretty good. Yeah, eh? and like first and second, like it's like math and English and like all sorts of awards. Just, uh, and same with Emily's and principal's award here. And she was a leader of tomorrow and oh, man. scholarships and lots of interesting things. It that one must have been in the paper, eh? In the leader. It was. Or the Medicine Hat News. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Would you like to hula hoop? Holy smokes. Everybody who comes in this house has got to hula hoop. And I will hold this. I can't hula hoop. 
Yes, you can. I don't have no moves for that. Oh, no, yes, you oh can. no way. Yeah, come on. No. Let me hold it. No. Come on. <laughs> no way. Thank you. Everybody has Thanks for inviting me to do that. Everybody who comes in this house has Can you just roll it around you and that's it? Well, if that's what it takes. Do I have to push anything? No. Nope. Is it recording? It's recording. Well, it hasn't got much battery now. So you just have to keep... Stand keep back it. a bit. Stand can you back. Just one swirl and that's it? Yeah, well, go like this. Move your uh, hips uh, when you're doing it. There's no way. Come on. I couldn't do that when I was young. Come on. Oh! Hey, it went it, twice. Come on. It went twice. You're trying to get it so that there's not a lot of that backlight. There we go. <laughs> hey. hey! Hey! Did her twice. Well, why'd you quit? Because it was falling. You do not, Can you do it? I can do it. I can okay. never do it when I first saw let's see when you can, Let's see what you can do. <laughs> I never could do that in my life, ever. Oh, no way. Yeah. Well, uh, you got the moves. Well, so, I, I, my I'm... Kids. Thank you for a wonderful interview. <laughs> it was fantastic. It'll be on YouTube. You'll be on there. So hope you don't mind, because you're on the you're in the picture a lot. So if I had to cut you out of everything, you wouldn't there wouldn't be anything to put on. <laughs> I just wanted to get my good side and not pull my hair down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good.